Hey, Vesanta here. It's been about three resets since High Mercury has dropped, and I made a video here for all my failure leading up to my first clear. Feel free to check it out. But I'm gonna use this video to try to explain and give you guys some tips on how to bait in High Mercury. As a baiter, your DPS doesn't matter too much because you'll be rolling, running, walking, or in prison most of the time. Um, in this case, I'm running low end. Most of the time, you want to run low end because people can make mistakes. You. So unless you can like be super top tier, got tier and not get hit, then you can run four DPS. Most of the time, you can be low end, and low end has like the lower DPS because he's a healer compared to everyone else. Um, but every bit does help. So first of all, let's go over what you need uh, in terms of equipment. There's the dragons. You want to run strength dragons. So there's Pazuzu, Zephyr, Rock, Pazuzu for that point poison punisher because most of the win adventures do inflict poison. Zephyr, sixty percent. You know, pat strength passive and this rock so you want to maximum unbind these if you don't you can run the budget rock um there's the void shop right you can get the moonlight stone to help you out on that and in terms of worm prints you want to run dps prints you don't need the high mercury print so there's what i'm running veiling crown because of that strength double buff thing so if you get defense you get a strength that helps out with grand granzel which is gala ranzel and low in with that defense buff. Um, there's also Levi's Champion, Heroes of Hinamoto. Those are some to name a few. Um, but yeah, you can run two double DPS prints or you can run one of them as support, which is like a dragon prep because one part in the fight, you want to have the dragon ready to get ready to dodge the waterfall attack that she does. In terms of weapons, there is the Void Staff weapon, there is the Five Star Elemental, whatever. Eventually you're going to use, try to aim for the 5 star elemental because it's the maximum DPS. But if you don't have enough sands, there's that void option there that you can do. Um, so without further ado, let's go into the video and I'll slowly explain this fight. So in the beginning, um, as the low, if you're using 5 star elemental, your skills isn't completely 100% ready. But you can get some attacking and also use the defense right before the initial blast. So you want to do it anyways before that time. You should be able to. And after that blast, you want to heal instantly right away in case you're running with off meta adventures. They will be bog relief because that's what that does. So scroll up, you know, keep doing your simple attacks. The DPS will lead to charge somewhere after the stomp. Um, just be, make sure you're the furthest one away. Because then she's going to do the furthest, she's going to do a tail swipe and then shotgun water spits. But this, this tail swipe right, right here, right? You're not sure. If you're not sure it's not, if it's going to hit you or not, just roll back, you know, be safe, and then come back in after the tail swipe, and then do your combos again. Because once she looks at you, um, you she's going to do some water gun spits, and the tail swipe can totally just knock you out, especially when you're on DPS prints. So she can do water, water gun, sh shotgun, pretty much, to you. And in that case, you can either iframe it, or you can just roll twice in one direction to, you know, get out of the way. And then she's gonna do that twice. So she's gonna usually do that twice after the tail swipe, unless it's like this fear self salvation thing. But we can go over that later. So after the two spits, she's gonna do whirlpools. So there's like specific patterns of which you want to do. Um, usually, if the DPS or the DPS lured the charge to the top left, which is like the optimal place, most of the whirlpools won't hit that area. But there's like patterns where it's just like right now you see the whirlpool it's all in the middle there's some where it just makes like um where i'm standing and make a square around that so you can be in the middle or off to the corners and there's some um i think those are mostly the ones there could be some other ones but those are like just just be sure to look out to where the whirlpool is you could just wait for it to show up and then move out of the way um you can do like a heal here or whatever um i'll let you guys handle that but you know just keep attacking whenever you can Right, because after the whirlpools, usually there's like a sphere of salvation thing, unless it breaks. Um, we can go over the break phases later. So sphere of salvation, you want to be the first one away because she's gonna do that tail swipe spit again after the charge. So it's pretty much the same pattern in the beginning. Um, you want to so these sphere bubbles, right? Um, two people cannot be in the sphere bubbles at the same time, otherwise they'll pop. And these bubbles protect you from the waterfall attack. Especially in the beginning when no one has dragon or anything. Um, if you want to assign specific bubbles, you can do that uh, ahead of time. 
Um, but usually, as the you know the healer, you can want to be the first one away anyways. After this, so you want to just take the furthest bubble away. Um, but yeah, it's easier to get assignment in there. So yeah, you do you tail swipe. If you're not able to reach, like if I were to go into the bubble at this instance, right, I won't be able to reach because then that bubble can protect you from all attacks, right, while it's there. But if you can't reach, you can just stay out there, you know, save up your skills because um, you can just iframe those spits. Like, for instance, right now, you can see that I'm just using my defense up first because that will give, you know, if they run, if my teammates are running Valent Crown, Violent Crown, whichever you want to say it, I have problem pronouncing these. But anyways, um, you can use those to buff them up and get the DPS in. So everyone go through the bubble, waterfall happens. After this, you want to get ready. So there's two instances where you want you want to get into the dragon. At this at this point, there's the aqua prism. That's one of them. And the second one is bursting bubbles, which will be optimal for everyone to be in the middle or at least one side. So aqua prism, you want to go towards the dragon. So your teammates can hit you, which is in prism, and the dragon at the same time. You know, kill two birds with one stone. Because once you're free, you want to be the first one away. Um, even if you're in a bubble, you can start swiping, you know. So once you're free, you get out. Because after this, you're going to do the homing bubble. And that homing bubble just chases you down. Um, so use your kiting skills, your centipede skills, whatever, Dota, MMRPGs. Kite those, um, that bubble around like you're a freaking archer. Um, everyone else will be busy DPSing it. Because she's not, she's just going to pretty much standing around there doing that same... Uh, stomp charge combo and then once the bubble bursts She's gonna do you, you gotta be careful with the tail swipe you want to get back in the range so you can do some attacks But that tail swipe is gonna be there So just be careful of that and then you know keep attacking. It's just pretty much the same combo do, doing the Tail swipe and then into the shotgun spits So you can either roll twice again, or you can iframe So pretty much after this is gonna do whirlpool. So be careful look at the patterns. I'm like where's gonna be where's gonna be right? Um, you can get some force strikes in because the overdrive bar is on. You can knock that faster. Oh, it's on me. Get out of the way. You have like specifically three rows before um, the whirlpool pretty much activates. Um, at this instance, we end up breaking early. But um, if we didn't break early, she will go into the middle, right? And then do bursting bubbles. And at that instance, everyone wants to be in the middle for maximum DPS and then you can knock the bubbles outwards. Um, I'll go over like how the bubbles actually work later. But um, after the break, she does switch phases. In that case, um, she go to bursting bubble still, but into a homing bubble. Um, but if she didn't, she would do bursting bubble into three shotgun spits. So you got to be careful. Always be the furthest one away, just to be safe. Except for these two instances, aqua prism and bursting bubbles, you you want to be up in her grill. <laughs> All right, so let's just wait for the dragon to walk into the middle to do bursting bubbles. And in this case, you know, get in there, get in there, get in here if you need it, pun intended. So, okay, so these bubbles, right? If you attack from one direction, let's say you attack from the bottom right and hit upwards, right? The bubble will go upwards. So it hit, it, the bubbles will go to the opposite direction of where you're hitting from. If you attack from the middle, everyone, everything just go outwards. So if you attack from the left, it'll go right. If you attack from the top to the bottom, it'll go down. So everyone should be in the middle and everyone just go outwards. And then once you see some bubbles leave, whichever first direction, just go towards that one. Because that's pretty much going to be safer. Be the furthest one away, because that homing bubbles, you're going to do the same thing. But this time, instead of having the half circle to yourself, right? Everyone's in the middle, so you know, just run around circle, clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever. Be careful. Um, you don't want the bubble to hit your teammates. If it's too close, you might want to have to slow down, right? Let the bubble catch up so you don't cut corners. Because like, oh god, I gotta slow down, wait for that bubble. Otherwise, it's gonna hit that Maribel over there. Right? No, and after the buff, uh, it busts, he's gonna do the same thing again. Stomp, charge, um, and do tail whip. So, you know, get your attacks in, get ready, go up there. Right, and try to get in. Oh no, I don't trust myself. Roll back just in case. Wait for it. You know, can you keep if you can't reach it, why not? I probably can't reach it. Yeah, I can't reach it. Get back in there. Here come the spits again. So th this pattern is pretty much the same. Um, stomp into charge, into tail whip, into shotguns. 
most likely two spits unless you know it was that one time if you somehow didn't break she just three so she's switching phases and then usually after the spits whirlpool happens so just be aware of that this is the pattern be safe because if you look at these whirlpools right you notice how it was like um around the circumference of this is like smaller than it actually is so yeah be careful don't you don't want to get tipped and freaking popped off if you check out my failure to be like oh my god but anyways you can see what what i mean because i say that oh no so many times all right so here usually this is the second sphere of salvation usually she will spawn mobs with this and since we have dragon ready right and we did also break early so we can actually use our dragon in the first place um you wanna you wanna get ready because the aqua prism is gonna happen during this time. Since you're always the furthest way, the prism will target you, right? And only at this instance where you know you scroll up, go up to the dragon, be in her, have your teammates, you know, burst that bubble. Um, you can just wait on it, whatever. Usually your teammates are good enough; they'll pop that out for you. Get get out just in case, you know. Shoot shoot some of the balls. She's so gonna do the you know the stomp charge thing. At this point, you wanna be in front of the dragon. Because this is the second part where you're not even gonna need the bubble. You're gonna you want a dragon. Usually you want a dragon here, right? And then she do a tail swipe, right? During that whatever, and then she can do the waterfall, right? I'm saving the bubble. The mobs are gone. I'm okay. I'm gonna save my dragon. Why not? But at this point, if you see the text that happens, you want to skill right away as a dragon, so you can dodge that. If you're in a dragon form, and and that waterfall hits you, you still die. So just do that skill, you live. Um, well, you lose your dragon, of course, but you know, that's, that's, that's pretty much the price you gotta pay. All right, and then usually after that, she would do bursting bubbles again. Usually after waterfalls. Um, usually I would go in the middle. I probably should have, but I kind of forgot, but that's okay. I have my skills. I can iframe them just in case, but you know, I didn't have to because the bubble wasn't hitting me. So after that second waterfall, um, since you're always going to be the furthest one away anyways after bursting bubbles, you should be okay because then you can see the whirlpool patterns. So um, just anticipate that there's going to be whirlpools and then look at the pattern and see you know which direction is safe for you to go to. Um, let's see what else here. So um, we're going to break soon and then you know we can get ready to dragon. But yeah, usually after that, since you're always the furthest one away, just be careful. If you see that purple cursor, get in there. You got the aqua prism. Um, if you start walking in the middle, bursting bubbles, get in there. Otherwise, just be the furthest one away. You should be ready for anything. Pretty simple. Um, you can drag in on break. It's easy. Because um, after this, sometimes you don't want to drag in on the, the second break here. Because um, you can do that waterfall thing again. And then if your drag is not ready at that time, you can get owned again because they're going to be mobs and stuff. So, um, yeah, so this is pretty much the clear. It's pretty simple. If you have any questions, feel free to tune into my stream. I stream our mouth every day around reset. Ask me any questions. Um, I'll try my best to help you. If I don't know DPS too much, but I'm pretty sure some of the viewers do as well. Um, so, I'll, in, this, so in this case, I was supposed to be the furthest one away, but somehow I wasn't. Someone else got the Aqua Prism. I was like, oh, okay, I tried my best. This was pretty tight, but it was the deathless clear, and I'm proud of it. So in that case, um, I'll let this run, and I'll be like, um, later days, yeah? Hope this helps you out. Boom! There you go.